All right, so I'm gonna apply power to these wonderful GEP RC1408 motors for the very first time. Let's see if the camera can get a good look at those. They're absolutely fantastic motors. And this is an Omnibus uh, Nano F4 and uh, 25, 28 amp um, 4 to one ESC from Crazy Pony. And uh, okay, so what you gotta do the first time when you power up uh, uh, your board is you absolutely need to meter power and ground. And make sure, let me test my meter. It's beeping, a continuity test setting. Very quickly, every time you do something, power to ground, it's not ringing, test it again. Yep, that's good. Okay, so always, always do that first. So here's the uh, moment of truth. Let's see if I can get this in the camera view real well on that end of it. Hopefully no smoke. Ah, it's looking good. That's an even better sign. It's definitely alive. Flight controller is alive. Everybody's alive. It's looking very good that this is going to work. So what's next? What we need to do is plug into Betaflight. And there's a lot of pages and things to step through. I'm only going to discuss bringing up the motors because the first thing I like to do with my boards is I like to do this layer first and get the ESC know that my motors work, my ESC works, it's all talking. It's a really good idea. So, you know, there's steps on calibrating the accelerometer and the rest of it. I'm not going to do it right here in this video. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to motors, okay? And the very, very first thing we want to do, since this is uh, Bell Hill ES, is I need to initialize the motors and let, a, let the software know the, the ranges that the motors run. So what you do with this is uh, without the battery power on, you tell it that I understand the risks. I don't have propellers attached, All right? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set the throttle up to 100% and then I'm gonna plug the battery in. Let's let it know the range. And that quit at the top and then you take this all the way down to the bottom and it's happy. And now what we can do on this is we can test the motors to see which ways they spin. Now I have all the nuts on here, so if I spin in the wrong direction, the nuts are going to come off. My prediction is that uh, the, uh, 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 the ones that rotate uh, counterclockwise, uh, da, 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 these ones here are probably going to come off. But let's see what happens. So motor number one. And first of all, it's the correct motor. And that looks like that guy was unwinding. Let me check. Yeah, it's going backwards. I have it just a little bit, put some pressure on it. Yeah, so that needs reversed. Okay, so number one needs reversed. Number two needs reversed. Number three is running in the correct direction, I believe. No, it's not. It needs reverse. Oh, go figure. I got them all backwards. Yep. All four need reversed. Now, I could be tempted and move the wires around, but I'm not going to. What we're going to do, real simply, is uh, um, disconnect from here. I'm going to go over and launch Bell Heli Configurator. I'm going to connect, and then over here, way over, hopefully that's on the screen there, over here, read setup, and it's going to read all my ESCs. I see I have four, and they're version 16.7. So things I like to do, turn up the beep strength, I've already done it for these ESCs, and flash the firmware to uh, uh, um, the current version, but uh, the difference of how I had the prior motors and these motors, it Apparently, I, each one of these needs reversed. That's okay. Whatever makes the motor spin the right way. Oh, these were reversed, and they need to go back to normal. Two and three. And four needs to go to reversed. Now, that actually makes more sense. So, in this case, I have one and four reversed. So, I'm going to write that setup to the ESCs. 
and that will change the motor direction just all by itself right there. So what we're going to do now is we're going to disconnect again and we're going to go test it. And to do that, we disconnect from that one, go in here, we reconnect to beta flight. I'm going to go back to motors. I'm going to say, okay, yeah, I don't have any props attached and we're going to test them again. So let's do number one. Number one is spinning in the correct clockwise direction. Number two is spinning in the correct counterclockwise direction. Number three is spinning in the correct counterclockwise direction. Number four is spinning in the correct clockwise direction. Woohoo! It's all set up. Yay! Fantastic. This is looking really good. And that's it. The next things that you'll want to do after this is power everything down and then start to uh, assemble the peripherals to your flight controller.